<laughs> you won't believe in the last two weeks it's hard to believe it's hard to believe it is hard to believe transmission hot water heater today roof leak electrical outlet kitchen faucet just went out the, 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 the hot water heater ran out this morning it was leaking so I had to change it you know how much a hot water heater is nowadays? $400 for a small one. You know how much the hoses are? $30, $32. You know how much a transmission is? $4,000. Every time you step and you get something accomplished, something knocks you back. You accomplish something, something knocks you back. Now, in the last two months, it's even worse. Front brakes, rear brakes, two tires. I got a bill in the mail for a tax bill of $300 for this new car I have. 320 bucks. I got 60 days to pay it. Let's see. Yeah, 60 days to pay it. I'll be able to pay it. But my point is, that bill came today. So that's another 300. Hot water, 400. Transmission, 4,000. Breaks about four to five hundred. I really paid more than that because I did I didn't I didn't find I really paid more than that, but I'm not even I'm kinda embarrassed because I went to the dealer and let them do it and they just they gouged me big time. I did the front brakes at the dealer, the rear brakes at another at a little shop on the near where I work. So if anybody wonders what I'm doing, I'm working all the time to get ahead. And every time I get ahead, something else breaks. It's been going on this year, since this year, August, I mean, uh, 2023 is the, the, the craziest year I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> The craziest year I've ever had in my entire life, ever. I'm in shock. The only way you couldn't have, the only way not to have a nervous breakdown is just to get up early and fast and, and pray and uh, just go. Just get up and go. Get up and go. That's all you can do. You don't have a choice. When you don't have a choice, you don't have a cho choice. I'm actually, uh, I'm mad at the devil. I don't know if this is a test from God or, or you know how Job, the devil did a lot of stuff to Job. It was a test to see if, see if Job would curse God. I would never curse God. I don't, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. I would worship God even if I was uh, out on an island somewhere by myself 
and had to go in the ocean to catch sharks and fish to eat. This is, a, this is, Job was an example. So when you do go through the test, and I think what's happening with this is to teach me, to push me to the next level. Even if, it is, if it's God teaching me or the devil messing with me, doesn't really matter. Uh, God means it for good. What the, de what the devil means for evil, God means for good. All things work together for good to those that love God and are called according to His purpose. A lot of this stuff I put off for years, but the, some stuff I couldn't help. I even actually took my transmission and paid uh, almost $200 to get the transmission fluid a month before it went out. And uh, they didn't check it then. So they they got some... these The, the, the Ford people... Just Google, just Google Ford and transmissions. There, I'll never buy another Ford. I'll never buy another Ford, ever. And I used, and that's all I bought my whole life. I'm not doing it anymore. The salesmen are liars. The mechanic, the the people in the shop are liars. It's supposed to be under warranty. And they said, well, did you keep all your receipts? Yeah, I came here. But what about your oil receipts? I didn't get the oil change here. What's that have to do with the transmission? Well, we can't warrant it if you don't have all your service. I told you I came here for everything except for oil changes. You think I'll ever go back there? I'll never go back to that place. That's the good thing about capitalism. See, socialism, you have to be stuck with one kind of like one thing we have socialism on right now, which I don't like, is your power and your water. You depend on the one power company and the water company. They need competition. When the going gets tough, the tough get going, and we never will curse God. Because God is blessing even in the midst of trouble. He's teaching and you're learning and you're learning to manage stuff and you're learning to get all your ducks in a row for something bigger coming up on the scene, I guess. That's what it comes down to. <laughs>